Hey guys, Kiko here, and in this video we're gonna talk about a melodic tool, um, a melodic embellishment. And the name is, uh, well, before I tell you the name, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Good? Done? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And also that little bell, you know, the notifications. Cool. Done? Cool. Nice. Now it's time for, for you to think about a comment like first, second, or whatever you want to know, or any questions, anything you want to know about one of my solos, whatever, harmony, any technique, or whatever you want to know. So just let me know, and uh, yeah, so I will try my best to do videos to answer your question. So the name of this technique, actually I use a lot, The it's not a technique, uh, it's a melodic tool, uh, I use a lot. Actually, I use too much, but you know, I can't help it. The name is Appoggiatura, or even better, Appoggiatura. It's an Italian name, and I believe our Italian friends, our Italian heroes, would pronounce it better. Um, Satriani, Petrucci, or Vai, or Daddario, or our friends from DV Mark. So they would pronounce probably better than me, appoggiatura. The concept is simple. You just get a target note and you play half step below this target note. So let's say you get an E minor arpeggio, right? So E, G, and B, and you're gonna play half step below the E, half step below the G, and half step below the B. So let's see. Okay, tension, release. So it's always uh, resolving the tension. Now to the fifth. Okay, so the, the entire arpeggio adding those other three notes. Some uh, far beyond the sun in Grimalmstein, right? So you can do for any any chord, right? And uh, of course, major tried the same. So we have major third and. Here, half step down, it's gonna be the minor third. So now you understand the, the blue notes, right? Because the blue notes, basically, when you have a E major chord, you have the blue notes, it's the, is the, the minor third, so. Right, so those two notes, the tour to the third and to the fifth. There are so many solos that use this embellishment technique and um, Randy Rhodes was always using aperture tours and um, yeah Mr. Crawley for instance um, let me see is in D minor so he, he plays so instead of doing just the arpeggio he plays so adds this little uh, extra notes, right? So another thing you can do is uh, you can add a note above. So a note, a, a note above the E and then the, the half step to the minor. Here the scale is half step. Right. If it's a Doria mode, right? Uh, Mozart, you know, and uh, what else? Oh, uh, major, right? Major, 
right? So um, more examples. Ah, that's a very good one um, to show you. Let me know if you can spot a Megadeth solo from Mart Friedman. Uh, it's a famous solo. By the way, Mart Friedman uses this a lot, a lot. And uh, it's a famous solo that uses that, that appoggiatura on a major chord. So um, try to guess. Yes, you are right. Symphony of Destruction. And uh, it's interesting the way is, uh, this um, melodic tool is applied. So let's say uh, you're here in uh, Symphony. So E minor, Phrygian. So the E minor, you have G major as a major chord, as a major relative, right? So E minor equals G major. So Marty plays G major triad. Right? So the solo. Here. This little. So over this Phrygian uh, E and F, you can play this beautiful melody. So on my solos, you can find all the time some kind of a target note concept or um, appoggiatura. And I was thinking why I like it so much. And of course, because of classical music, because of Randy Rhodes, because of Ingrid Malmsteen and all the neoclassical guitar players from the 80s. Uh, but also because the Brazilian anthem is full of uh, uh, appoggiatures. So it's something like... <laughs> So, yeah, that's it. So now it's time for you to try to incorporate those ideas into your playing, into your solos and melodies. And uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.